Greetings Airsofters, Joker here. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a review, so I uh, pulled out one of my old AKs and uh, thought I'd uh, talk a little bit about it. Um, so this isn't like a, you know, shot for shot review like a lot of these other ones are. This isn't an unboxing or anything. Um, this is talking about a gun I have used and abused for quite some time. Uh, today I'm talking about the uh, D-Boys AK-74. Um, I actually purchased this gun um, in about January of 2013, so going on almost seven years. Uh, this was a supposed to be originally just a backup gun or a gun for uh, indoor CQB type stuff, um, but I ended up liking it so much that I actually pretty much use this year-round as my primary indoors and outdoors. Um, before this, I used you know the longer full-sized uh, 47s, so I wanted to try something a little shorter and smaller. Uh, I'm big fan of the uh, the shorter front ends on these. Um, it does have a folding stock, uh, but generally I do, uh, I keep it extended. I do like the, the stock out. Um, so D-Boys, not, you know, a, a top tier brand or a, a high, you know, sought after gun, um, but I actually purchased this from a, a boneyard deal from a well-known uh, retailer online. Uh, not going to say who, um, but I got the the gun damage broken um, and a brand new gearbox for $75. So I thought, you know, whatever's wrong with it, I can slap in this new gearbox and uh, still get a gun for half of what you can get these things for brand new. Uh, so I got it home and um, the gun actually functioned perfectly. There was nothing wrong with it um, other than inside the, uh, the plastic flash hider here, there was a burr that was, or a you know, a, a deformity that was sending the BBs veering far left or far right. I don't remember now which way it was going. Um, so I basically just filed down the inside of that and uh, this gun has been amazing since then. I, I basically got a brand new working D-Boys AK-74 for 75 bucks. I sold off the, uh, the brand new gearbox I had, made a couple bucks on it. And uh, yeah, um, this thing has been I've used it obviously indoors, outdoors. Um, I've taken this to some big Milsim events, some of the uh, events that happened at um, Lord Muscatatuck Urban Training Center and a handful of others. I can't remember if this went to me with me to, um, ah, man, so many events all over the state, out of state. Um, but yeah, uh, it's, been, it's been a pretty good gun. Um, again, you get what you pay for. Um, but I've not had any major issues with it, um, other than one exception. Um, it's been surprisingly accurate for a gun this short. Um, trigger response is not terrible. The rate of fire is, you know, generally what you'd expect for something like this. Um, I did occasionally have a little bit of issues with the mag fit, um, but nothing too crazy. Um, generally, I run standard 70 round uh, TM mags. Uh, this happens to be a Echo One mid cap, which seems to feed all right. Um, but after years of abuse and stuff, I mean, it's got general wear and tear all over it. I think I busted one of the uh, pieces back here that helps the, the stock fold. I mean, it still functions, but it's it's cosmetic purely. The gun stayed stock, um, other than a little bit of purple here and up here, some spray paint, nothing crazy. Um, the only thing I did to it was I added this rail uh, I don't recall the brand name of this particular metal rail up here, but I attach my vertical grips and my lights and things to it, so I, the rail was a necessity and very helpful and useful, but that is literally it. Uh, gun internally, stock and everything, and again, not had any issues with it. Uh, that was up until a couple of years ago. Um, I did use this at uh, the Muscatatuck Urban Training Center. I want to say it was... I forget the name of the op, Operation Homeland, maybe. Um, we got, I mean, it rained cats and dogs on us for a good portion of that event. Um, I, you might as well have thrown your, your guns and gear in the pool or taken a shower with them. I mean, we were drenched. Um, and ever since then, um, I've had what I'm assuming is some sort of wiring issue or a trigger contact issue or maybe even a motor issue. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't pulled it apart to check. But every now and again, you'd be firing it, and it would basically go dead on you. It just would stop firing like you had a dead battery. Um, 
it just randomly would happen. You could have a brand new battery, didn't matter. It just would stop firing for some random reason. Um, so that gave me the excuse like all Airsofters would use to buy something new, and I did. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with this thing. Um, like I said, for $75, uh, I got more than my fair share of you know, use out of this thing. This thing has seen a lot of action over the years. Um, you guys know me, I, I play pretty regularly. Um, I guess I got lucky. I mean, not everybody gets a D-Boys and gets it to last this long, especially with as regularly as I play. Um, I'd say this thing shoots roughly 330 feet per second, uh, pretty consistently. And again, accuracy, pretty decent for something this size. Um, decent trigger contact and everything. Like it's not the greatest out there, but again, you get what you pay for. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with this thing. It is held up. I mean, it still fires, it still functions. I've obviously, you know, I've kept it. Um, it works. It is a uh, pretty good gun, again, for what I paid for it. So uh, I would recommend it, honestly. You know, if you're a beginner out there and you're looking for something new and you're in the, the market for an AK, pick one of these things up if you can. Maybe get a used one. Um, again, they're, they're QC maybe isn't the greatest out there and they're not well known for being a top tier brand, but um, honestly, I've, I've really not had many issues with this thing. So, um, I, you know, if I had to do it again, I, I honestly would. Um, so yeah, I would, uh, I would recommend this thing to, uh, to newer players or, you know, somebody looking to get into AKs. Um, there are obviously better brands out there, but you're going to pay a lot more for them. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head what these things are currently going for, but they're probably in the $150 range or less. Um, but yeah, I would recommend it. This again is the D-Boys AK-74. Uh, not half bad. And uh, yeah, go check them out. Um, I do appreciate you guys watching this. Um, if you want to follow our stuff on Facebook, uh, you can find my page at Call Sign Joker. Uh, my Airsoft Teams page is just Impact. Um, and then my, my airsoft field is Joker's airsoft field, uh, Joker's circus airsoft field. Um, follow us, like us on Facebook. Um, we're also all on, uh, Instagram and all those fun things too. So, uh, sharing is caring, like, subscribe, all those fun, fun things that everybody likes to say. And, uh, I appreciate you guys watching this and, uh, you know, give me some feedback, what, what you'd like to see to come. I've got more guns that I need reviewed and uh, some, some interesting you know, kit and gear and stuff. I'd like to do a few more of these if I could. So uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, thanks for watching.